I'm ready to be ready. <laughs> We're gonna try it. Water can is ready to go? Yep. You got a quarter pin. Y'all got started quicker than Nana did. A little bit of <laughs> <laughs> Can't do all this trucking back here. We're gonna watch it for me. <laughs> Bar Barney's teaching. No. Y'all are doing fine. But job. I mean, this is you know the four stages of fire. I mean, of a fire growth. You know, growth, incipient growth, fully developed, and decay. This right here is starting the you know the incipient that's getting into the growth stage. And I mean, it's nothing but nothing but the material that we put in there burning. As you see, it really don't take a whole lot of materials even to, to make much of a fire. We'll see what happens when we smother. You ain't gonna see it come out the uh, the size and all like the other one. We caught them up. It's right. airtight. Yeah, it's pretty airtight. Zebo could live in it. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Camo too. You can put it in all your right. duck blind. But you see, putting that on, it kind of helps smother. You know, and that just shows, like, when you go, say you got a fire in a bedroom, windows are still up, closed up. And if you open the door and you see it like that and you put that on it, you know, just like that, it helps calm it down. See the throat start right there. On to the second thing. Starting to travel to the second. That's right, you can see it where it was. Yeah. The smoke, you know, it's looking for somewhere to go. You can see it taking in the air right here in the bottom. Now she's starting to lick on out. And all this is probably being where we are. All this is going to be happening when she's called, whoever it is, is calling 911. By the time we get there, this is going to be very rare. Unless somebody's at the station, you know. So if we get a call right now, Devo's got to babysit this. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. I can tell you who ain't. You just push it back in the truck. Now they make a plan for you. That's the mood, and this ain't nothing but the gas. And got hot enough where it ain't nothing but the right. gas is like moving over to the second. That's line. right, it's going to where the oxygen is. Just remember, as it was saying in the video, and what Jacob was just saying, that that smoke is actually fuel, it just don't, it's not the right mixture. It don't, it's either. 
too rich, too lean, or not hot enough. And once it gets one of those three, the, the combination gets right, all that smoke can light off too. Because it's, it's just unburned fuel is all it is. As that guy was trying to show when he was trying to use the lighter With when it was coming out the window, it'll light when it's at the right mixture, it'll light. See out there it's at the right mixture. Open that room up, let's see what's inside. Yeah, when you did that right there, it right it on. It got there. enough oxygen where the mixture was just right and it lit right off, so that could be us walking in and opening the door, you know. See how she's rolling on in. Good now on the second floor, uh, second room. Yeah, yeah. One look on. Somebody had lit off just like that. So the idea would be two on that top one if you had the slides kind of like he had, I guess, huh? That's why you if, if you had the extra so you can control it a little bit better. I'm not knocking the design, just. Oh, we know. It's a prototype. Yeah. I mean, I think <laughs> it's working fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's showing you what. But you walk in, and, you know, see how it's leaking up. Now, see how the smoke up here is lighting off. Pull in, Bob. That's just the gas. That's nothing in the room is on fire. All the fire is down there, but this is just the smoke. That's all it takes, a little bit of water. Put that fire back under control. You got a big one, door, a, a, one window. That's all I say. There's a lot of wind tonight too, so you're getting some wind-driven stuff right. in that as well. This is simulating right here, basically, uh, you know, ventilation, roof ventilation right here. That's cutting the roof, and what he just pulled back would be sticking your pipe hole down, breaking the sheetrock, or plaster, whatever it may be. See that smoke coming out of that? Right there, you close this off. Yeah, it gets worse. Mm -hmm. John, if it's too much smoke, bud, stand up and come over here. I think. Come on. You can already see the flames if you stand over here. You can already see the flames coming up. It's just lit up. Why it's always important to uh, go ahead and be doing your attack.
he was talking about on that on that video determining your color of smoke. Right. What's the color of smoke that you get right before a flash over? What you're looking at starts getting real brown. Real dark, kind of brown. Real brown. And you can take this. Anything puffing. It's hard see to how it's getting real brown right there coming out the mm -hmm. window? Yeah. Right there is what it looks like. Brown. Yep, just yeah, before it flashed. Yep. Just like that, knock the door off. Jacob, you got that GoPro going, right? Yeah. Okay. That was, because that was a good flash over right there, that advanced part. That was a good one to show. See if I grab that water can. Now, uh, remind me, right what is the difference between a flash over and a backdraft? A flash over is during the build up stage where it goes from the incipient and that's kind of to the growth between those two stages so when everything in the room reaches its combustible temperature and it lights off all at one time. Mm -hmm. back draft is on the back side where it's oxygen starved and you introduce oxygen, oxygen to it. Like busting the one. Yeah. Okay. Please circle the there with the cup. This ain't nothing but the gable. It's like the gable. Yeah. Ventilating in the gable. Block this off in the end. Really see it. Yeah. Coming out of the gable. See how fast it's coming? Right. Uh, light off in just one second. See how it turned off brown? Like that right there? Come on over here, Joe. Right. See, we put that little bit of water on it. When Debo sprayed right. that little bit of water, it messed up that mixture. Mixture. It and now the fire has got to build back, back up, up, build its gases back up. So basically, just like they were saying on the video, you're better to suppress with the water before doing before any ventilation. ventilation. Yes, sir. That's All right, you see your dark brown. Take them back up a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Up at the top. That's not good smoke right there. No. No. There's. It's about to light off. It won't be long. It'll. Yeah, the fire coming up on the outside is not helping. It as far as to really see it light off. So as far as smoke goes, what is we want to see in smoke is the white smoke, white no smoke. dark or brown yeah. smoke. White smoke is typically when, whenever you're hitting it with water or whatever extinguishing you typically right. water, when you're cooling the environment down, it goes white. White. If, okay. it, if there's brown into it, it's it's either getting into the like the building materials, dark black stuff is t a lot of times with like your your couch cushions and Cow, stuff like yeah. that, like anything with um, rubber, the right. rubber or uh, petroleum products in it. Right there at the top. This is, yeah, that, that's... There you go. Some good stuff there. All it's going to take is a little bit of oxygen. Right. Right there. That's a flash over That's right what there. you don't want to see. That's what you don't want to have. <laughs> <laughs> Not unless you've got the steaks ready. What? Yeah, that's it. There you go. Matter of fact, where are all the hot dogs at? I think it's that first one. That's the bottom one. And you see that little bit of water he just hit on that fire, mm. just messed Took it right up. down. See, it, it don't honestly take a whole lot of water for rooming contents yeah. type fires. But yeah. Now, if it's fully involved, it's a different story. Or depending on the, the fire load that's in the, the house. Or what, whatever you're going to. I mean, it's like when we had the, when the, the, the shop over here burned up that day, or that, that barn, barn, it was full of hay and stuff. That's, that's a nice thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that, that's a... A completely different ballpark there. Alright, there you go guys. The floor in the fourth room is breached. Basically, basically hey, fully it. involved. Yep. Pop this off. That's all it took. Right. All right, Debo, dump it down a little bit so it ain't. Look at that heat's pretty good.
I'm sorry, Debo. I put the camera at the ground while you were doing that. <laughs> Well, he's gotten by the year, <laughs> and I put it at the ground. All right. Well, I know y'all were saying it won't, y'all, you know, y'all didn't think it was too good, but I think the demonstration is right damn good myself. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot to work on. But they should still already burning now. It's burning in the attic space. So that, that right there, if you ever do a Roof ventilation. Before you start your interior attack, you just screwed your whole self because you're gonna chase that thing all the way up to the attic. I guarantee it. Another thing too is with your um, your balloon construction building. Yeah, that's what fire, majority of houses are right here. Yeah, the big like the big two story houses like the one across the street right there. That's balloon frame construction. If that smoke and heat gets in the walls. It can be a fire on the first floor, skip the second floor, and be up in the oh, attic area. Attic. Uh -huh. That's how my parents have to build balloon trucks. Yeah. An uh, easy way to recognize it on your older houses is if all the windows are in the same spot. On the yeah. Second right. store and the, the first floor. The if mm -hmm. they all, you know, one's here, one's right above it, that's nine times out of ten is balloon, balloon. trucks.